A refill is a project on temporary use of vacant spaces where bottom-up initiatives organize activities there to have economic uh, activities there or cultural, social, sports, whatever, but actually to bring a new dynamic in these empty lands. We've got uh, many properties that are abandoned, that are empty, and that they really started to degrade the public space. And we needed to find some tools how to encourage owners to do something with their properties. Yes, as an um, urban development company, we use our opportunistic way of uh, buying old warehouses and brownfields to develop the urban program to offer transitional uses for um, startups or the cultural and creative industries. As you know, we have a lot of those projects in Ghent. One of the biggest examples that I can give is, is, is Dock, huh, where, where we have an old harbor port that was not used during 20, 30 years. And then we ask other people in the city who want to reuse all these old buildings. And then we saw that there was an, indeed an explosion of activities, an explosion of creativity. I think we visited maybe more than 100 temporary use. But what is important for me is that behind those temporary use there are people, there are stakeholders, there are owners of places, there are uh, citizens with uh, initiatives, with cultural, business, social initiatives, there are the neighborhood around, there are cities. This is what really makes temporary use for me. Refill, I think, is amazingly important because it's a direct experience of the things that are otherwise just talked about. It gives back inspiration, I think, and push to see what can be done in our local context. It spurs imagination, let's say, yeah, it's inspiring. Temporary use is much more than just one function. You have to work with the NGOs and, and inhabitants. You have to work with the space. You have to work with the owners. There are like many dimensions to the temporary use, and that's the main challenge. I would say that it's a new thing, and it's, it requires cooperation of many sides. You always have to adapt and adjust yourself because transitional uses is always an experiment. It's never just as you imagine it would be. For us, it was very interesting what Emersford and Ghent do, how the municipality can learn and communicate with people, those agents of municipality who are going to people and talking. This was something new for us. What we have been working for last two years was establishing sort of a platform or office for temporary use. It's a place I approach and there I can actually find a room or home for my projects. One of the things we learned from Refill is that the matchmaking between initiatives and uh, spaces is very important. Somebody has to help the initiative to find spaces and to help the real estate owner to find an initiative that's suitable for their place. It's from uh, Bremen, the ZZZ and from Frurica. And so that's why we went searching for somebody who could do it for us. And we found uh, match points and they are online and offline now the uh, place where people can find each other. We have all acknowledged that temporary use uh, is an asset, but we have to measure it. I think you've got a very good example here in Ghent, the dock area has put this old arbor area back onto the city map and this is a benefit for the city but also the benefit for the developers and um, we need to measure the money the assets that temporary use has brought to this whole process so that we can in a, i'm not in favor of monetizing temporary use but of making sure that they are not considered as uh, beneficiaries but they are providers and what they provide uh, as a price We um, developed several uh, tools or instruments. So we have a temporary use toolbox. It contains a lot of fact sheets, we call it, where we actually try to uh, summarize all the instruments that all the different 10 partners of the project use in their cities. So this is all uh, available online. We have printed it in the final publication. So the idea is, we hope, that this 
knowledge and these instruments get shared and disseminated as widely as possible so that people can read it, get inspired and get in touch with every city separately to ask more information about uh, those tools.